So this brother, if he has with him sterling, pound sterling, and he has a thousand pound sterling, if a person possesses a thousand pound sterling of and sterling pounds, is zakah an obligation upon that wealth? We go to the goldsmith who, who buys and sells gold and silver, or we check the value of the wealth. So we ask him that 83 grams of gold, how much, di- how much is it in pound sterling? And if he says that the value of 80 th- 83 grams of gold is 1,200 pound sterling, as an example, Come therefore... On. A th- the thousand pounds has not reached the level of the nisab, the threshold. And that person might reply, okay, because it has not reached the value of 83 grams of gold, i.e. 1,200 pounds, that there is no uh, zakah. However, we say to him, but we have to check the value of silver as well. And then we ask the person that how much is 595 grams of silver worth in pounds? And he replies that it is worth 900 pounds, for example. Now, his thousand pounds has reached the nisab, the minimum threshold. So when it comes to paper currency, we always consider the lower value in terms of the nisab between gold and silver.